Good morning from a beautiful start to the day here in Suffolk. I'm on the River Orwell and if you've watched a couple of my latest videos you may have noticed that my intros were extremely rushed and I can only apologize for that because as you know if you subscribe to the channel I really like doing sunrise photography but trying to vlog at sunrise and capture the images at sunrise is quite challenging but today I thought I'm not going to do a rushed intro I'm going to take my time I'm waiting for the sun to come up and hit the side of these boats here so I've got plenty of time no need to rush and tear about the sun has just lit up the sky above this boat a couple of birds on it so I'll need to get this before I have a chat with you properly unless I sink in the meantime well as you may have seen from one of my previous videos I'm not a lover of wading out into water and sand for the simple reason is I always feel like I'm going to sink now this composition here is not doing a great deal for me at all it's purely because the sky just looks so good um, and I thought you know what this would be really rude not to at least attempt this shot now I want to do a long exposure so I'm on f22 I'm just going to raise that histogram just a tad I'm on f22 and that is giving me eight seconds which well let's see if that's long enough for a long exposure I'd like to go up to about 30 seconds but um, yeah right okay okay right let's change some settings here let's drop this right down let's go for f8 now let's drop the I said big stopper earlier I'm sure but I've got the little stopper here let's see what I can get with the little stopper right maximum 30 seconds exposure not too happy with the composition it's just it's just in the middle doing not a great deal with this boat um, but where I want to be imaging over this side there's nothing happening in the sky over there so that's okay if this works it works if it doesn't well I've not lost anything composition that I've, I've gone for here there's been two compositions there's been I don't know if you can see this but there's this boat here with like a, a blue boat with a rib bottom here and I took that one earlier a little bit further back because the tide was further in but now I'm losing the tide uh, the tide's starting to recede now so I've dropped it down just to the, these two boats and in my mind I'm thinking this was always going to be a black and white image so all I've got to do now is try and work out the, the correct shutter speed to try and smooth out some of the, the water here and perhaps get a little bit of blurred movement in the sky because the sky does actually look quite nice um, so yeah let me play around with these settings and I'll come back to you and I'll let you know exactly what I've chosen Okay, well I think I've sorted out my settings. If I go for f9.5, that is giving me 30 seconds. And it looks like a fairly well balanced histogram. Now, there is quite a lot of blue just above this bank of cloud. Um, and the cloud is moving incredibly slowly. So I think if I really wanted to get some blurred clouds, I would have to go up to kind of like three or four minutes. And I just don't want to do that. So. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go with 30 seconds. Now I'm also thinking that this image is screaming out for black and white, especially with that little bit of blue sky um, on, on the on the on the upper part of the image. I think black and white would lose that. It would just blend in quite nicely. However, I do like the way that this sun is coming up from the east and just lighting up the side of these boats. So I could change my mind when I get back to post. But at the moment, I'm thinking black and white, but who knows, this could be a colour image. Right, well I've lost the sun now. It's just gone behind a, a bank of cloud and to be honest with you, I don't think it's coming back anytime soon. So there's not much more I can do on that composition there. But the tide now is really starting to recede and now I can actually kind of wade a little bit further in where 20, or perhaps half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago, the tide was a lot further back. So this would have been a lot deeper. So. I'm just gonna see now, just kind of handheld, if I can get a shot round here. Uh, and if I think it's worth, you know, dragging the tripod over, then that's what I'll do. But as I say, this is, um, this is a beautiful place, but trying to get some separation. And I'm, or I don't know if you watched, <laughs> if you watched my, my, might have been my last video, especially the outtakes at the end. Um, I, I don't like that feeling of, of sinking, and I'm always a bit worried about going too far, too far into the uh, into the sea or into the river. Well, actually, I think this may. Oh, oh, that was a sinking feeling. I don't like that. Yeah, this is quite challenging actually, because there's um. I don't even know if I'm in shot, I can't even see that camera. But obviously you've got the large boat here with the sail mast leaning over to the left. And then there's a, well I assume that's a boat that's in front of me. I, I, it looks like a, a, a part of a boat, unless it's some sort of fence. But there's another boat to the left and I'd like to do away with that boat to the left. But I, I also want some separation between these two structures here. So yeah, just trying to find it is, uh, is is yeah a little bit oh it's just creeping into shot let me just go around yeah if i go around to the left then this kind of wooden structure in the in the front here is is overlapping the nice boat with the with the sail mast so um i bet if i go lower and get me arse wet actually no. Right, I may, I may have to lose whatever this is here uh, from the image because I just can't get any separation from it. So I may just have to focus on. Yeah, I will. I'm going to have to just focus on this one particular boat. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, let me go and grab this tripod. Was I, was I even in shot then? If I wasn't, please accept my pot. I wasn't even in shot, was I? There's me waffling away. Right, let me grab that tripod. I'm still not in shot. Why am I talking? Right, well, this composition, uh, what can I say about this composition? Now this would have been nice 
if I think, you know, I did have some sun coming over there from the east. But unless I've cut a section out of the video, the reason, you know, please don't think that I should have scouted it, the area a little bit more when I arrived, but I just couldn't get to here because obviously the tide was in. And if I have mentioned this earlier in the video, then please accept my apologies. But um, yeah, the composition's okay. But again, you know, it, it's just trying to eliminate so much of the clutter and at the moment I have a I don't know what this would be here well it's just some it's just some timber from a, from an old boat um, and that's just creeping into the frame now I may be able to crop this image uh, perhaps like you know 16 by 9 something like that or 16 by 10 to, to get rid of this um, but if I come up any higher to get to lose this then something else starts to creep in. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay, you know, as, as, a, as boats go, <laughs> it's quite a nice image. Just would have been nice if the flanks of these boats would have, would have been illuminated a little bit more just by the sun. Right, well I do think that I've exhausted this little area where I am here at the moment. Um, now, if I've not already mentioned it on the video, I'm actually at Pin Mill in Suffolk. And the timing this morning was, was fantastic because high tide was at, I think, 4.40 with sunrise being 10 past five. Um, now, okay, I didn't quite get the light that I wanted over the boats, but, you know, as landscape photographers, we very rarely get everything that we, that we want. But timing-wise, you know, I couldn't have wanted, I couldn't have wished for any more. And as you might have seen on some of the images, that high tide is very important in this location. I think my first image, I managed to get three of these boats in here with the with the tide with the sea around it and then as the tide moved out and reduced that down to two boats the tide moved out a little bit more and it was that one single boat so if you are thinking about coming to to this location i'd highly recommend you check them tide times anyway i think i'm going to end this video now i'm going to make my way home but as always i'm going to say thank you ever so much for watching and until next week's video see ya